And I tell you this, Dwayne Wade could only do as much as these judges let him do. Judge Nader didn't make him pay child support. I got three months of child support and about a six year period. But he sat on $90 million and he couldn't buy school uniform, Your Honor. Is it too much to ask? What about the coloring pencils for the children? I had to pay for all of them. And now I sit here today with nothing left. And the judge is saying, well, if you want if you want any money, Mr. Wade is offering it in exchange for your voice. Make sure you don't tell anybody what happened. Why is it that one person is entitled to child support while another man is let go free? You put one man in jail for being behind in child support, but you tell the rich man you're going to give him more time. Why is that? Why is it? I watch men pay at least part of their child support. They didn't have it all. I'll never forget. He was a FedEx worker in front of Judge Maria Nagel. He had a common job. He was able to pay something. I watched him beg the judge not to put him in jail. And I watched him go to jail. Now I'm watching my own case and I see Dwayne Wade ain't paid child support at all. I'm taking care of the children and we lived off savings for years until we didn't have anything else. And I was telling him, even if you hate me, this is your flesh and blood. What about your cry when you were younger? When you cried out saying, take me away from my mother and father for doing wrong. Now your own children are crying out. And it's like you forgot or he don't care. Have you seen this footage of her sitting in front of a courthouse showing her ass, making a complete ass of herself, crying and complaining, crying and complaining, a one woman sitting, complaining that she's not getting enough money. Anyway, all I know is you got a lot of money. It's in the millions and you are still complaining. You won't let it go. You won't let it go. He has moved on. Wade has moved on. D. Wade has moved on. You need to get a job, you need to get a life, you need to stop making a fool of yourself, a spectacle of yourself, a complete idiot. This is some repugnant shit you're doing. It's repugnant, it's pointless, it's fucking stupid. It's dumb, you're dumb. You look like an idiot, a fool. You need to sit your ass down. You need to get a life. You need to let it go. You already don't have your kids. You're saying he's a dead, he's a deadbeat dad, but he has the kids. You look like a deadbeat mom sitting on the curb, sitting on the stump, sitting on the sidewalk, bitching and complaining. Oh, I need more money. I should have got this. I should have got that. Be happy you got anything. That's how you are a multi-millionaire and you bitching. You are bitching, never shot a basketball. I don't understand it. I don't I don't get it. Why we allow this in America. We allow this. Never shot a fucking basket in her life. Never did nothing. None of the training. None of the sets. None of the repetitive basketball shooting drills that he had to run all his fucking life. And yes, you were together for a long time. And yes, you have kids by him. He gave you money. What he has to do? Give you his life for you to go away? You know what? If you want to stay in the public eye, I understand it. You want to stay in the public eye, this is what you do. Find a skill that people will pay you for besides defaming and slandering your ex-husband. How about that? How about you find something to do that will make us want to tune into you beyond this? Get some respect back for yourself by doing something that contributes to society or benefits the world or entertains the world or something. Do something besides bitch and complain and bemoan your plight to people who don't give a fuck. Because we don't. We don't. You are a laughing stock. You are a fool. And only bitter women who feel that they've been slighted agree with you. The rest of the world does not. The rest of the world is going, this nutty bitch. She's a nut. She's nutty. Anyway, that's how I feel about it. I know it's a strong opinion, it's brutal, it's painful, but it's the truth to me. You may have a different truth. That's my opinion. I'm Tim. That's Tim's Take. Let me know what you think. Comment below or hit me up at Tim's Take 1 on Twitter and send me your stories because I don't want to keep talking about this shit. There are other things to talk about. I got bigger fish to fry than Sauvignon. Get a job. Get off your ass. And your $300 sweatsuit talk about you broke.